So yeah, basically this is a program that helps you copy folder content with too long of a file name in Windows OS. This program can also help copy folder content that prompt the following messages even when you're an administrator. So if you're getting access denied, you need permission to perform this action. You require permission from the computer's administrator to make changes to this file. Well, basically this should help you resolve that. But yeah, I made a simple program using Microsoft's RoboCopy and obviously written in batch script. And for the prerequisites, what you do need is to have Windows NT4 and later, which I'm pretty sure everybody has. And most importantly, what you do need is administrator access on your machine. Now to start off the guide, the first step is to download either the exe file or the .bat file, which is for the batch script itself. I would recommend the exe file, but the only problem with that is you would have to disable your antivirus because this isn't a popular exe, this is just one that I created myself, so it's not known to any antivirus at all. So in the vast, which is the antivirus that I do use, uh, what I'd have to do is go into protection core shield and then turn this off. Now, if we do download this, Windows Defender will also kick in and of course, uh, Google Chrome security will kick in as well. So for Google Chrome, just click on the arrow and then all you have to do is click on keep. And you can see here that's been downloaded to my desktop. Now if I do launch this, you'll see Windows Defender does kick in and I'll just click run anyway. Um, I suppose the batch script is easier, so I will run through that. All you have to do is click on this link. It'll bring you to the location on the repository and you'll just copy it. So what I'm going to do is open up Notepad. Now the reason why I'm using Notepad is just because this is what everyone has. And then I'll paste the source code in here, click save and select the dropdown first and click on all files. I'm just going to call this copier.bat. Now it has to be saved as .bat extension. And I'll save this to my desktop as well. Now if I'm launching the .bat, what you'd have to do is right click and then go run as administrator. You can see this will open up the exact same program as going with the XE. The only difference is that the XE uses the default command prompt settings and the BAT will use whatever custom settings you have. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with the EXE. They're both the same. Uh, the BAT was just converted to .exe. So now let's go through the problem itself. And you can see here we have a source folder, which is located in my C drive and a destination folder which is located in another drive with the drive letter D. And if we take a look at the source folder, you can see we have one folder in here and a file which is a video. Now the folder, if I try to drag it over, it'll prompt this message here which is destination path too long. And then for the second scenario issue, you can see here we have a file which is a video. And if I try to drag this over, it'll tell me file access denied. And even if I go with continue, it still tells me that I need permission to perform this action, even though I'm an administrator on this particular machine. So yeah, let's close that. And now we can go ahead and use the program itself. So the first thing you need to do is copy the path for the source and paste it here and then press enter and then copy the destination and paste it here. Now there is a small bug with this program first time you run it it just picks it up as blank and um, i looked into this for ages and i didn't want to spend too much time but it seems to me that this is caused by robocopy itself which is something that was built by microsoft so i can't really resolve that but if you can help me out resolve this do submit something like a pull request or even just a comment but yeah anyway even if that happens to you you're still fine just uh hit any key and it'll go back and repeat the program again. So this time, don't even bother pasting it, just press enter, enter. And you can see it actually remembers what we did put in. And if we take a look here, you can see it's transferring the content from the source folder into the destination. So yeah, that's done. And that only took seven seconds to copy over this 
folder that's pretty much empty the whole way through all the way down to its uh, subdirectories and they copied over this video file as well which is 2.2 gigs and you can see that only took seven seconds to copy over and then if we take a look at the destination content folder and go all the way down you can see that folder with the really long name has been added into the destination folder and if we just highlight this and open up the properties and do the same for the destination you can see everything matches up nothing was different everything was successfully copied over now the only thing that i would keep in mind is if your source folder has a lot of files so maybe something like uh, 20 gigs or even 15 gigs it might take a little bit longer uh, but i tried my best to write the code in a way where it still uh, performs pretty quickly when it comes to copying the content from the source to the destination uh, but yeah that's pretty much it i think i have everything covered but if you do have any questions do leave it in the comment section down below and of course don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video and i'll catch you on the next one